Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of using the Shore Zone Flex site. This site gives you access to all imagery collected in Alaska and the mapping information. The fastest way to access the Flex site is by searching for Shore Zone NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Click on Alaska Shore Zone Coastal Mapping and Imagery. Then, click on Shore Zone Flex Site. The main page will open. Flex Site works with different browsers, but is optimized for Chrome. Let's look at the desktop. Your mapping panel is on the top left, while the video and photos are at the bottom left. The attribute panel is located on the top right, and the unit description table at the bottom right. If you take a minute to explore around, you'll see that you can expand each panel by clicking on the green arrows. You can also click this icon to shift images to the right. To navigate around the Flex site, you can pan with the hand tool. You can also zoom in and out using the tools to your left. If you know the latitude and longitude of your area of interest, click the binoculars and enter the numbers in degrees, minutes, and seconds, or in decimal degree format. Here we're searching for Anchorage. Choose a pin color and label and click Zoom to or Center at. A pin will appear on the map for Anchorage. If you're lost because you zoomed in too much, you can always click here to see where you are in Alaska. And if you want to start over, click on the globe icon, which will zoom you right out. Another great way to go to a specific location is to use the Locations tab. You can select a town, port, sea lion haulouts, or walrus areas directly from here. Coastal aerial images are available for 80% of Alaska, and the program is ongoing. You'll notice a line along Alaska's coastline. The red line is where there is imagery and mapped data. The orange line is where imagery is posted, but the mapped attributes are not available yet. The green line is where the mapped data is posted, but the imagery is not posted yet. Let's zoom in to an area of interest. Let's have a closer look near Point Hope. As you get closer, you will see imagery starting to appear in the bottom panels. Notice the camera icons on the map. You can choose to play imagery from there, or start on another section of the coast. Different base maps are available, including a topographic map, aerial, nautical chart, and GINA BDL. This is the best satellite imagery available from the Geographic Information Network of Alaska. The red dots are video captures, and the blue dots are still photos. You can explore video captures or high-resolution still photos. Video captures or snapshots are photos captured every second from the video collected by helicopter. They tend to be lower resolution and faster to load. Let's start with the Video Captures panel. Make sure the video camera box is enabled. Hover your mouse over the red dots. Click on Play Video Snapshots from here. Now click Play in the controls at the bottom of the panel. You'll be flying along the shoreline. You can expand the panel. Various options are available in the controls. You can pause, rewind, move forward, or save the current snapshot to your desktop using the disk icon. The latitude and longitude is indicated as well. The full video is also accessible to stream online in some areas. You can see if the full video is available by hovering your mouse over VidCaps. If the video is available for that area, you can click to see the video and it will start playing. The Still Photo panel operates similarly to the Video Captures panel. Make sure the Photo Camera box is checked. You can click the blue dot where you want to start and click Play Photos from here. They take a bit longer to load because the resolution is higher. 
You can also download high-resolution photos to your desktop. The panels to the right are the Attribute Panel and the Unit Description Table, but we will cover these in the next tutorial. Start to practice zooming to a region of interest, looking at the imagery and saving it to your desktop. If you have any questions about the ShoreZone Flex site, you'll find NOAA's contacts on the main ShoreZone web page. Steve Lewis is the main contact for the ShoreZone Flex site data updates and maintenance. The ShoreZone.org website from the Nature Conservancy is also full of resources about ShoreZone. You can explore the Supporting Documentation tab for more information. Thanks for watching.